Hey everybody, John here, Old Hickory Forge, welcome back. So, today we're working on a hammer eye punch for the Forging It Forward program. If you don't know what Forging It Forward is, go check it out on Facebook. But basically what it is, is uh, a bunch of smiths, hobbyists and professionals have all come together. We're uh, pooling equipment, and once a quarter, that pool of equipment is going to be sent out to uh, a new smith who doesn't have any equipment. There's already a pretty sizable package. I think there's, there's like an anvil, a belt grinder, you know, lots, lots and lots of stuff has been donated. It's actually kind of gotten out of control. But uh, what I'm going to be making is a hammer eye punch from an old ball peen hammer for two reasons. One, because nobody's donated a hammer eye punch yet, to my knowledge. And uh, two, somebody asked uh, on one of my videos a while back on how to make a hammer eye punch out of one of these. The reason it's good to start with one of these if you're a beginner, you know, you could just take a piece of inch and a quarter or inch and a half round tool steel and forge that out into one just, just as easily almost. But the problem, there's already an eye in this. How are you going to punch an eye if you ain't got no eye punch? So with this, you ain't got to worry about that. So it's a good place to start. The only problem with them is you never really know what kind of steel they are. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and taken a couple of heats just to kind of gently massage this a little bit to make sure it's actually going to stay together because if they're a lower quality cast steel or even a case hardened ductile iron, they could shatter on you. So, uh, you know, just uh, be a little careful at first. But once you realize it's staying together, you can forge it out just like you can anything else. And they're generally speaking good steel for top tools. Uh, the hammer eye punch I use to make my hammers is made out of a hammer similar to this one, and it's lasted me for years. I think I've redressed it once. But anyway, that's what we're doing, so stick around. So I've got the door to my workshop open to block some of the sun, so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But basically, all you need to do is forge out a square taper, carry it to a rectangle, and then knock down the corners. So, using a good heavy hammer, I'm just going to turn with every screw. Working it down. Nothing fancy. So, moving right along at this point, I'm just using the horn of the anvil to draw the material out a little bit quicker. So, I forged this thing out just a little bit longer than I need it, but as you can see, maybe you can't. But there's a pretty deep gall in there. I didn't bother trying to fight it as I went. I'm just gonna cut it off because there's more material here than I actually need. And there's still a good bit of work to be done to get it to its final dimensions. So we'll cut off the excess, continue forging all this back down and hopefully get us where we need to go. If you look at it, compared to my original hammer eye punch, you see there's much more material there than I need. So that's why I didn't bother trying to fight the fish mouth because I knew I was gonna have to get rid of some. So. In between heats, I'm going to start working on the handle just to minimize my downtime. So what I got here is a, a piece of ash. Hickory would be ideal, but ash is what I have on hand right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this down with this uh, antique plum broad hatchet I restored. This is faster than doing it on the grinder. You can move a lot more material a lot quicker. And I just find this more enjoyable. Obviously, you don't want to remove too much material with the hatchet because uh, you can come out with an undersized handle. But with practice, you can get pretty close. So we've got this thing to about the size we want it. Now we're just trying to get it to its final shape. A hammer eye is basically a rectangle with the corners knocked off. And that's the same shape we're trying to achieve here. So you see, on our wide side, we have much more width than our narrow side. Now we're just trying to dress everything up. And when our taper looks good, we'll knock the corners down and we'll be ready to go to the grinder. It's very likely that the eye is going to get distorted while you're doing this, so your last step is just to be drifting it back to shape. So here's what we got after normalizing. All I'm gonna do now is take this thing to the grinder, make sure all the sides are flat and smooth. You want it to be flat and smooth because if there's any uh, any divots in there, they can catch on the metal and make the punch get stuck. I'm gonna go ahead and establish the, uh, the tip, thin it out just a little bit more, round over these corners and true up this striking end and uh, get it mounted up on the handle. I went ahead and trued this up on the sander and then hand sanded it in between heat. So let's get that done. So 
So here's what we got. I got the head hung up, the handle charred, a couple of step wedges in there. Hung up real solid. I made it slightly longer than my personal hammer I punched because I've always kind of wished I'd made mine a little bit longer. But uh, I've got a piece of scrap inch and a half square mild steel in the forge now. We're gonna test this baby out. So here's our hammer eye punch, all finished up. As you can see, worked really well. We got a nice clean hole. Here's the plug it punched out. Can you see? See how it's uh, the negative of the punch? But anyway, that's how to make one of these. If you're looking to make one for yourself, it's not uh, that too much difficult of a process. If uh, you haven't checked out the Forging It Forward Facebook page, go check it out. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on over there. A lot of really good guys are getting together. And uh, whoever gets this thing, I hope you enjoy it. I, would, I certainly would love to have one of these when I was just starting out. So I hope you appreciate it, and I uh, hope it serves you well. Thanks for watching.